Hi, Vince Math. It must be Math by Yamiye. Welcome again to the world of Math by Yamiye. So there is again a viral question in front of you. I would say please pause the video and try to solve this question. I hope you have video paused kiya hoga, question solved kiya hoga. Now it's time for the solution. Let's check the solution. What we have to find? We have to find the ratio of EP to PD. If the area of this part and this part means triangles are same. Okay. So there are many method to solve this question. I'm going to use the basic. or we can say the most basic method to solve this question okay assume this one is x and the complete length of the hexagon or the regular hexagon is nothing but a so the all sides are a if we assume this one is x this must be nothing but a minus x so we want the ratio of x upon a minus x and this one is the required value we know this angle is 120 degree and by the trigonometry or basic property if we have an isosceles triangle with the sides a a this must be nothing but a root 3 okay so our ae length is a root 3 this angle is 30 degree due to isosceles triangle and the complete angle is 120 so we can say this one is 90 degree all the height okay so first of all say triangle 1 say triangle 2 say triangle 3 triangle 4 and triangle 5 so we can say triangle 1 Plus triangle two, plus triangle three, plus triangle four, plus triangle five. If we add the triangle summation or the area summation of all, we'll get nothing but six into root three by four a square. That is the basic area property of a regular hexagon. So, what is the area of triangle one? That is with the angle of one twenty degree with the sides. We can say half. A into A into sine one twenty is nothing but root three by two. So this area is nothing but root three by four A square. So this one is the area one. Perfectly fine. What is the area of triangle two? We have a base of x height that is ninety degree is A root three. So by the right angle triangle half into base into height. So we can say this one is nothing but A x into root three by two. perfectly fine what is the area of 3 we know the base is a this length is a since here 90 degree by the same we can say this one is 90 degree so base is a perpendicular is a root 3 the area is nothing but half into a into a root 3 or we can say a square into root 3 by 2 so this one is third what is the fourth ka area according to question area of second and fourth are same so the second area is nothing but ax root 3 by 2 should be the area of fourth triangle isn't it ax root 3 by 2 so this one is the area of fourth triangle what is the area of the fifth triangle again by the sine property that means this side regular is a half into a into a minus x into sin 120 is root 3 by 2 so when we open the bracket this one is nothing but root 3 by 4 A square minus root three by four a x perfectly fine. So now add all the value root three by four a square. So this one is root three by four a square. Again the a square term is this one is nothing but root three by two a square. Then only a square term is here is nothing but root three by four a square. So we added. This a terms we added this only a terms we added this only a terms. Now it's time for the x terms. So we have nothing but root three by two a x plus root three by two a x plus root three not plus this one is minus root three by four a x and the summation of all is six into root three by four a square. Now we need to. Do some basic calculation. When we add all, that is root three by four, root three by four, and root three by two becomes nothing but root three a square because one by four plus one by two plus one by four is nothing but one. When we do half and half, this becomes nothing but root three a x minus root three by four x is nothing but three root three divided by four a x is equal to six root three a square. So we cancel out root three. We cancel out A, so we left with nothing but a plus three by four x is equal to, and this terms is four six by four a, that is nothing but three by two. So we have three by four x is equal to a comes here is one by two a. From here we can say this one is two za x by a is equal to two by three. Fine. 
so we want x by a since 2 by 3 we want this one is nothing but 2 is to 1 is the answer of this quotient so the ratio is nothing but 2 is to 1 what i have done use the basic concept of regular hexagon and equilateral triangle and the sine formula find the triangles area of five triangles equated to the total area of regular hexagon and solve the quotient though we can solve this question by the part like the one sixth part of the total triangles than the this one is one sixth part that is the lower bcd and this one is nothing but four sixth part and can also solve but basic and the concept is king so i use the basic concept of solving this question five triangle summation is the regular hexagon and get our answer which one is nothing but two is to one i hope it is okay if you have any doubt Main bolunga, please rewind the video watch it again and give your best and at the last i want to say if you have not subscribed the channel must subscribe share with your friends press the bell icons to get the notification of best questions and best concept and you can follow me on the social networking site these are my handles so god bless you stay tuned bye bye and happy learning once again